Hi everybody. Today we are going to read another beautiful poem. I just love this poem which um, got, came up to, today to take us into a meditative state. So before we begin, let's start with our usual ritual. I think um, this word ritual has kind of um, been my word of the day today ever since I've woken up. I think there are some rituals which we do which um, really help us stay connected and um, in the present moment. So this is one such ritual that we are doing to bring us into the present moment. So just sit comfortably on your chair and bring your hands in front of you and let's do the conscious pipe. Consolidate Concentrate, connect, be here now. Bring your hands in a namaste to your chest, close your eyes and just stay with me for the next 20 minutes. And let's start with following the sound of the bell. Just follow the sound wherever it takes you and stay in the here and the now. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out you can bring your hands to your lap with your palms facing up. Sit comfortably with your spine straight, shoulder relaxed and your eyes can be closed or they can be gazing at something in front of you. Whatever works for you. For me when I uh, open my eyes it tends to distract me so I prefer to close my eyes anytime I am in a contemplative mode or listening to something in a way to get into a meditative state. So do what works for you. I'm going to start with the poetry and this is actually a very very nice poem that I found and it's called The Man in the Glass. And it's written by Peter Dale Wimbrow. Uh, before I start reading this, I just want to bring your notice to the title, The Man in the Glass. Um, I would like to uh, look at this word man as a human and maybe not attribute any gender to it or attribute the gender that you wish for yourself that works for you. Okay, so I'm going to read the poem as is. But please feel free to use the gender that you wish to take you into that mood or just no gender at all. So The Man in the Glass by Peter Dale Wimbrow. When you get what you want and you struggle for self and the whole world makes you king for a day, just go to the mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it isn't your father or mother or wife whose judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the one staring back from the glass. Some people may call you a straight shooting chum and call you a wonderful guy. But the man in the glass says you're only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He is the fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he is with you clear to the end. And you have passed the most dangerous test if the man in the glass is your friend. You may face the whole world down the pathway of life 
and get pats on the back as you pass. But your final reward will be heartache and strife if you cheated the man in the glass. Isn't that such a beautiful uh, poem? I just want to let you sit with it for a moment. Just sit with it. Cheating the man in the glass. I mean, how many of us really think of this person, the human in the glass that's looking back at us? So let's do a contemplative, reflective meditation today about this person, this human that looks back at you when you look in the glass. So let's get centered and close your eyes if you haven't yet. Consolidate and let's reflect. Today the subject of study is the self. Yourself, not anybody else. Just become aware of your breath going in and out. Just feel it in your nostrils. Feel it in your belly, your chest rising and falling. In whatever way you can. And just this poem, The Man in the Glass, might have tensed your body, might have brought up something that's making you tense your body. So relax with that breath. Let go of that body, the stress in that body. And just be with your breath going in and out, contemplating the man in the glass. If you feel like you can put your hand on your heart if you're feeling it racing or if you feel you want some support you can put your hand on your heart as you do this meditation what does this person this human in the mirror say to you listen 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 to what this human in the mirror is saying to you. What is that verdict that's coming from within you? How much do you show up for yourself? How much are you there for yourself? Can you look at this person, this human in the mirror straight in the eye? Can you enjoy your own company without having to bring out those armors and masks and um, superficial ways of being and cover-ups? Can you be with yourself? the raw self and in the state of rawness can you be your best friend let these questions just take you to those places within you no need for any mental logical answers just want to enter that space where we can be with ourselves with the rawness authentically honestly and lovingly that's most important just sit there with your breath going in and out and listen to what comes up. You will notice your mind taking you down memory lane. Gently bring it back to the here and now and notice what's happening for you now 
as you are sitting with your raw self, the human in the mirror, looking straight into the eye of the human in the mirror, in the glass. Just stay with it and feel, let it come up and just feel what comes up. And when we say feel what comes up, it means to tune in to your body. See those sensations, the tightness, the flexibility, the niceness, the rawness, everything, whatever. There's, there's no secrets with yourself. No secrets. Just be open. And it's okay if a thought comes in, you go down memory lane. Bring yourself back to the here and the now. Notice how much we beat ourselves up. Yourself. How much have you beat yourself up today, yesterday? And expecting unrealistic expectations from ourselves. Like we're not even human. And when we look at the human in the glass, that's when we actually see through the eyes. Look at your eyes and you will see how much you are there for yourself. Just stay here and right now is a moment you are with yourself right now. So let's not beat ourselves up for not being there. We are here and now and we are with ourselves. And let's try to find out some things that this human in the mirror wants to tell you, okay? What are some ways you can love yourself? Look at that person and see what are some ways you can love yourself? Maybe taking that time to do things and not hurrying up. Maybe giving yourself allowances to make small mistakes. Maybe, maybe something else for you. I don't want to put anything in your head. Just see what are the ways that you can love yourself. What are some ways you can care for yourself? We are caring for ourselves when we are eating, when we are showering, when we are putting cream on ourselves or um, combing your hair or whatever it is you are caring. But what is that one special way that you can care for yourself that makes you feel cared? What are some ways we can forgive ourselves? I think this is a really big one. How can you forgive yourself? Because unless we forgive ourselves, we can't forgive anybody else. There is really no anybody else, you know. When you forgive yourself, you've already forgiven everything else. So how do you forgive yourself, that big self? How can you be compassionate with yourself? To begin with, when things arise, when feelings arise, acknowledging that it's okay for it to come. It's okay. That is compassion in the first place. And as soon as compassion comes, everything else takes care of itself. So what are some ways you can be compassionate to yourself? It's all about you. It's not about anybody else. Stay with me and feel this love, this compassion, the tolerance, the forgiveness in each and every cell of your body. Feel it.
see yourself being kinder to yourself. Even just a gentle, uh, what do you say, a brushing on your cheeks like you would do to somebody else. How often do we do this to ourselves? Just anything to be kinder to yourself. Now, as you sit here in this feeling of love, compassion, whatever it is that you're feeling, you don't have to stick with what I'm saying. This is really your personal meditative, reflective, contemplative place. And nobody is going to come into the space. Not even my words. Just stay there and feel whatever you're feeling. And we're going to say something to ourselves today. So put your hand on your heart, take a deep breath in and say this with me. You can say it in your mind, out loud, however you like. I accept myself wholly, mind, body and spirit. The way that I speak to myself the way that I see myself and the way that I treat myself is how others will speak to me, see me and treat me. So in this present moment, I choose to speak to myself with and add whatever word you need for yourself, whether it's love, compassion, tolerance, dignity, whatever, whatever comes to yourself. I choose to speak to myself with and say that word. I choose to treat myself with respect and I choose to treat myself with compassion. This body is a gift to me and this mind is my teacher. The soul inside me is going to guide me eternally. I am blessed. Now stay with this feeling of gratitude, love, compassion and just sit for a moment immersed in this kind of feeling. Stay with your breath going in and out. Feel your heart open up. And take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you may bring your palms together and rub them. You can feel that if you put your hand on your heart, maybe you feel it warm already. And let this warmth spread to the other palm and gently place them on your face, on your eyes and move your hands to the side so gently and lovingly holding your face between your palms with love and compassion. Just hold yourself Now take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. Again, take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, just spread that love, compassion that you feel within you into the air around you and like a ripple effect, 
it will pass to where it needs to pass. And so you can keep generating within yourself so much love and compassion and it can keep going out as a ripple effect. So thank you for uh, joining me and um, try to do this many times in the week till we meet again, if you can. If not, just show yourself love any way you feel like. And I will see you again next week with another poem but until then listen 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 to what that human in the glass is telling you thank you and bye bye